All right, so we are four months into the month of February, and I thought this would be the perfect time for me to show you my January favorites. So it's Sunday evening, it's like 9.15, I'm already in my pajamas, I was getting ready to wash my face, and I thought that I should just go ahead and do my favorites video while I was on a roll because I have already filmed several other videos today. This will probably go up first though because I feel like that makes the most sense. But I just wanted to hop in. I don't have a ton of favorites because I was testing things out. Um, I did quite a bit of traveling. So um, everything that you saw in my everyday makeup bag that I had posted back in January, that's what I used during traveling. I have nine favorites. So not even 10 things that I want to talk about, which I think is great. I feel like sometimes when people do favorite videos, it's like, is that really a favorite if you're talking about 30 things? <laughs> um, which I've been guilty of that in the past. But the first thing I want to talk about are skincare items. Um, the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. So a couple weeks ago I was doing videos. I was talking about how chapped my nose was from constantly um, blowing my nose and super dry skin. And I remembered I had this and so I pulled it out. And then it was also around the time that Prince Harry's book came out and he mentioned it, which was so funny to me. And I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I should just do a video where I talk about how I use eight hour cream because everybody I felt like was probably searching it at that point. And I knew that like Princess Diana had used it. I had heard like rumors that eight hour cream was used a lot in the royal family and he kind of confirmed it in his book but his story was a little bit funnier because he like you know got a frost bitten like todger which i guess is what they call their penis either way i started using this on my nose and my lips when i went to bed and my nose started healing up so much better i'm not dealing with the dry dryness i was dealing with before and then also if i had used like uh some super drying acne products to try to dry out any spots on my face I would also put this on over it. So I absolutely love it. It smells like death. Like it does not smell good, which is funny because they say this is the fragrance. They purposefully add that fragrance in there because there is an unscented version that I have somewhere, probably in one of my boxes in here of all my products, but I don't understand why they want it to smell like this. I guess if it originally smelled like that and then like kind of like memories, kind of like Vicks or something, this doesn't smell like Vicks. This just smells really herbally and like old, but this has been like the best thing for my lips and my chapped nose and my super dry skin. I've even done what they call a little bit of slugging, but I don't do full on slugging. I would put some in my hands and just like press into my skin after my skincare and literally my face would glow the next day. So um, I'm glad to have like pulled this back out and started using it again. And then something that's way more expensive, you can get this for literally like around under $30. I think it's around between $25 and $30. This is super expensive. This is La Mer, the moisturizing cream. And I purchased a set a while back that had, which I'll show you, it had the regular moisturizing cream like a regular size which is this and then it had the mini and so I used the mini first which the mini is like a half ounce it took me a couple months to use that which it should because that size costs around a hundred dollars on its own but then I also had this bigger one now that I've dug into because I used that one up that's just how much I've loved it and it's really helped my super dry skin Okay, so where was I? I just got a call from my husband. He's away for army right now. That's why I'm actually able to get stuff done today. <laughs> but either way, so yes, I used up the whole little thing. I, again, I don't know where I did with it now. I literally just had it in my hands. So anyway, I used up the small one and so I pulled out the larger one that now. And I also have, so this is the cream. This is like the original, the thicker one. I love this formula. It feels really good on my skin. Huge fan. There is also though the like the moisturizing cream that's more of like a face lotion that's not as thick. I have that one and I think I'm probably going to use it more in the less dry months. It's still super moisturizing but this is kind of where it's at for me. 
So um, between that and this, I feel like I'm getting some moisture back in my skin. I would love to find a cheaper alternative and I have heard people say that the Nivea cream is a dupe for it. And I've looked at the ingredients and I think it, they share like 90% of their ingredients, which is great. But the Nivea does not have like the, I don't know, the sea broth or whatever they want to call it, um, that is actually what's supposed to really help the skin. So I think as far as like a moisture barrier, possibly it may work great. Um, but I think I will do a comparison video because I do own the Nivea cream as well. So maybe if you guys were looking for a more affordable alternative, I'll let you guys kind of know what my thoughts are on that. So then, the foundation I've been using almost all month has been the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation Oil Free. And mostly I've just been using it. I don't have it on today. Um, I did film a video doing this like hours ago. <laughs> so if you're curious about what I have on my face right now, even though it's like probably a good... 10 hours after I've applied it. If you're curious about that, um, I will leave it linked when I put it up or it'll be up in the next couple days. I'm gonna put this video up first. Either way, this is probably the closest thing to my skin tone that I have right now. And this is the shade 130 Opal. This foundation is great. Um, I use one to two pumps for my whole face. And it literally just sinks in and it is glowy, but it's not too glowy and it wears really well. So I'm a big fan of this. Um, I guess that's all I have to say. I don't know. I've just been loving it. I think also it's helped because since it is kind of glowy, it doesn't like actually make my skin look drier than it is, which again, I can still tell looking in the mirror now, even though I have all this glowy stuff on, my skin is moisturized a lot better now, but it's still dehydrated. I need to drink some water. So I do have a concealer I wanna talk about, and it's so weird because I've gone from like super expensive now to this is probably one of the cheapest things I have in my makeup collection. And this is from a company called The Same, but Same is spelled S-A-E-M. And this color is just right for me. It's 1.5. And this is like the perfect concealer for me. I used it when I traveled to, I did spot concealing. I concealed my eyes. It's under $5. And I feel like I need to go in and buy these in bulk just because it's so good. It doesn't have a ton of product in it. Um, but I mean, it's got... I'm going to hold off on buying it in bulk because I feel like that would be kind of crazy. <laughs> but I am, this is, I don't even think it says how much product it, it's not very big. If I compare it to a regular concealer, which my mind is all over the place now, like it's much smaller, but the formula is so good. Um, it just covers blemishes without looking too drying. I will put it on this. I do have a like a little dry patch there and my makeup has been on for an eternity. But I've just been kind of spotting it on and then taking uh, whatever blush, blush, whatever brush I use for my foundation or for like my cream um, bronzer and blush and I just kind of use it and then I pat it in, kind of go around the edges and it just blends in while still covering. Like, so good. I do have a corrector from them as well that's green, that, that's not super, super green. So I can put this on red spots and then go over. You can kind of see the difference there. So um, I think these are great and they're so affordable. I do have two blush items I want to talk about. I don't know if you can still get this, but I feel like everybody has it. I've pulled this back out. And I've been loving it. I do have it on right now. Um, but as you can see, I mean, it's been on my face <laughs> all day. But so it's looking a little worse for wear. But this has just worked out perfect for, for me. I use all four together. I start with this one and I just dab a little bit on my cheeks just to get a tiny bit of flush. It's super pigmented. 
and then I go over it with this to kind of blend and diffuse that out and then add some shine and like more of like a, a coral sort of sheen. And then this is essentially like a more coral, a more coral version of NARS Orgasm. It has the pink in it. It's like a duochrome to a pink to peach sort of shift. I do a really light dusting. I don't go full on. And then the highlighter, which is a kind of like a lot, it is a pinky beige, pinky beige goldy kind of highlight. And it works great. Like they all just work together perfectly and they really suit my skin tone. There is a more pink one that, that they came out with after this. And I even used to have the really big, like six, I think it was like six or eight pan blush palette. I had both of them and I got rid of them just because I didn't use but maybe one or two things in the entire palette. I use every single one of these. This blush is from Peri Para, and you're probably looking at it thinking it does not look like a blush. <laughs> but this is the shade acorn beige and i'm so curious to look at maybe some of the other shades now so again my skin is very desaturated i am a light olive complexion which essentially just means that i don't lean yellow i don't lean orange i don't lean pink and so um i'm just desaturated it's, it's like all those colors are just kind of canceled out so this looks like nothing but then you put it on my skin and it's just a barely there sort of dusty peachy pink and it looks so good let me find another spot to kind of I'll put it maybe over this foundation I put on it's so natural so if you were a desaturated person like myself, I think this blush would work really well for you. If you were somebody who has a pink undertone though, this might just look like a face powder on you. Um, but I'm a big fan of this. I've been using it quite a bit. I, I traveled with, actually I traveled with both of these this month. Okay, so now I have a lip liner that I feel like I've, every video where I have done my makeup, I featured this lip liner. This is the NYX Professional Makeup just NYX. Nude Beige. So they do have two lines of lip liners and I don't really know the difference. Actually they have more than two lines but they have two lines of like the sharpenable ones. And so I went in super confused at one point. I was like did they stop making it? Because I wanted to go in and buy backups. And um because they're only five bucks. So I went in I did get the backups but this is the five dollar range. It's Nude Beige. It is a gray sort of pinky brown and it literally just deepens and gives a shadow perfectly on my lips and it doesn't look too obvious and I can wear this with everything it's the perfect lip liner for me so I've been loving that so then I have two last favorites I feel like this is the quickest favorites video of all time partly because I don't have a lot but also partly because I'm rushing through it so I want to start off with a piece of jewelry and you've probably seen it in a couple of videos throughout the month and it is my ring so I have a larger engagement slash wedding ring that I usually wear between these two silver bands um, but in the winter I don't like wearing the larger ring because it catches on all my sweaters so I wanted something to where I could do mixed metals because my ring is silver and I do like to incorporate gold also into my jewelry so these are the two wedding bands that go around my actual wedding ring and then I purchased this among some other things around Christmas for myself there is a company called italic and you've heard me talk about beauty pie before and I feel like italic is like luxury goods at a discount it's like the beauty pie for actual like luxury goods so they have like homewares they have jewelry um they have um clothing exercise clothes all that stuff so i purchased for myself four items three or four items so the first thing i purchased for myself was a leather jacket i got it and it didn't work for me and i was super bummed 
but and it was like around $300 but I had been looking and I really wanted a really nice leather jacket but I am long limbed and when I got it and I put it on the sleeves only went to here for me and I when I wrote back and they were like um what's wrong with the jacket why do you want to return it and I just explained to them I love the jacket I just wish that you made it for taller people if you you know ever make for taller people you know like I will definitely repurchase so it literally only went to there the shoulders everything like that fit great um, but I just don't want to spend that much on a leather jacket that doesn't cover the full length of my arms so um, I did send that back and they did accept it and they did uh, give me money back so I was gonna do a whole video on the things that I purchased from italic and then I decided not to because I returned that but I feel like I should have just done the video because I feel like knowing whether or not you can return something and actually get your money back is actually, you know, a good, you know, thing to know. Oh, so I do remember the fourth thing I got. So I also ordered a necklace that I believe they call like I'm like, like a herringbone type necklace. I forget what it's called, but I'll have photos here on the screen because I don't have the necklace with me. I've probably worn it in several videos because I wear it most every day, but it's just like a gold sort of flat chain necklace that I wanted for layering. And so it's a real gold necklace. I paid a couple hundred dollars for it and it's beautiful and I wear it a lot. Um, and then I got a pair of sunglasses where their sunglasses are made in the same like lab that like I don't know, some designer glasses are made in. Again, I'll have all the photos on the screen of everything I bought. And then the last thing I got was this ring. And I love how simple and how thin it is. So here it is on its own on my hand. It is a real diamond, it is real gold. And it was relatively inexpensive. I had been looking for something similar to this on Etsy and I didn't find anything actually cheaper on Etsy. The one thing I will say is though, it came delivered to me from China and I'm not saying that you can't make beautiful luxury goods in China but I was just not expecting the ring box because I waited a long time for the ring too I just wasn't expecting the ring box to come separate it was like in shrink wrap and then it had like a bunch of Chinese writing on it but I do love the ring I think it's beautiful and it's beautiful on its own but I have just really loved layering it with my wedding bands. And I just think it's really chic and it just goes with, and I can layer all the different jewelry. I can wear silver jewelry, gold jewelry, and just wear it all together. And I've just been loving it. So that is that, I guess. And then my last favorite for the month has been this fragrance from Solstice Scents. So funny story, I went and I got my bikini wax yesterday. I get a Brazilian actually, not that you need to know. But I went yesterday for my waxing and the girl who does my waxing is, you know, I we talk perfumes, like she knows I'm really into perfumes and I really like them and I came in and like, you know how like, she's like, all right, you know, go ahead and hop up on the table. So I've like, you know, pulled my pants off and my underwear and then I'm just like Winnie the pooing it on her table like sitting there and she's like all right you know essentially like I'm ready spread them and so anyway I'm laying there with my legs wide open and she was like oh my gosh you smell so good and we both realized simultaneously how weird it is that my vagina is out and we're talking about how I smell but <clears throat> I explained to her that it was this fragrance and she was like oh my gosh like it smells so good and so we're like talking about fragrances and stuff in there you know while she's like doing the waxing and um, when we're done, like she's literally looking up the website and she's like bummed because this particular fragrance isn't currently available. So if you guys are familiar with Solstice Scents, they do their scents kind of seasonally. So they come out, they'll have like some spring releases probably coming up, I would say like after March. I know they're getting ready to go on their six week break so they can prepare for orders and things like that again. So probably end of March or into April, is probably when they're going to start releasing their more springy sorts of fragrances and then you get you know through summer and you go into fall and then that's when they release like all their Halloween fragrances and then they have their beautiful winter fragrances you know you get it but this I had to wait a while because when I first started purchasing I had a sample of this and I loved the way it smelled and I was like that's one that I've got to have 
and I had to wait until I was probably able to get it about a month and a half or so ago. And so I'm thrilled to have it. I absolutely love it. I've been wearing it nonstop. This, it's so potent, you only need one or two sprays, um, which all of their fragrances are super potent. So if you're somebody who just wears regular designer fragrances and you really just douse yourself in them, when you get these, you'll notice you only need like one or two sprays, super, super potent. But I believe this has like cedar, vanilla, oud, and musk in it, I believe are just the notes. And it just smells like an aged woody vanilla. It's absolutely beautiful. Either way, this is one of their fragrances though that they continue to come back with. So even though it's not available now, I know it will be available at some point in the future. Okay, I just went into a coughing fit. So I need to not speak as loud. You can probably see my face is all red and my eyes are watering. So I should probably end this video, but again, I will leave Solstice Scents linked down below, but just know that they're getting ready to go on their hiatus and they do their fragrances seasonally. So you probably won't see this one again until next winter, um, but it's a beauty. Either way, those are all of my favorites. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know below what your favorites have been because I'm always curious as to what other people are using. If I could like somehow make a job out of like going through people's um, beauty cabinets, like I would love it. Like I gotta like, I don't know, find friends that aren't like really into YouTube or into beauty and just ask if I can film videos of like going through their vanities and their closets and like looking at their products. But <laughs> either way, let me know what you've been using and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.